So today we are going to discuss about the acids, bases and salts. So in our daily life you can see the different type of uh, acids and bases and salts also there. So acids. So when we are observe the different type of acids means for example lemon is there. The lemon is a one of the acid and uh, see the hydrochloric acid is also one of the acid. And uh, if you know that is the basis means for example if you are using a soap that is also one of the base. These are the chemical uh, equations and chemical reactions will be there. And salts means that when we are ready to using any food material, if food is very tasty means definitely we can use a salt. So for example, uh, in lower classes also we learn about the different type of acids, base and salts. How to identify the acids and bases and salts? How to differentiate these acids, bases and salts? So all acids and bases and everything is the same as it is. How can we say that? Is a acids differentiate means there is indicators are there to identify whether it is a it is a acid or base or so salt we call as a universal indicators so universal indicators are there is the best example for that is a litmus paper okay so our red cabbage juice so anything is just we have the different different type of acids and bases and salts also there. So for example litmus paper if I am going to dip a litmus paper in a one solution then blue litmus paper turns to red color or red litmus paper turns to blue color. So we have the different different type of things are there we will discuss in this topic right. So natural indicators are there and as well as uh, Synthetic indicators also there. So what I said that is a litmus paper is a natural indicator and red cabbage juice is also one of the so natural indicator and synthetic indicators are there. For example, methyl orange, so naphthalene. These are the different different type of chemicals what we are using to identify whether it is acid or base. So that is these are the synthetic and natural indicators are there. Now we'll go further. We can test it whether it is a that chemical or any substance is a acid or base. How to test it? So for that we can use that uh, hydrochloric acid HCl. Okay, and is a one of the solution you can take in a wash glass or any this test tube. Or otherwise is sulfuric acid H2SO4. I am going to take. So this is also one of the so acid, but we can test it whether it is acid or not. The next one is a one more thing is a acetic acid. Acetic acid means CH3 C double OH. Okay, so it is a one of the acid, and one more thing is also there that is a so nitric acid HNO3. So these are the acids what we thought that we can identify whether it is a acid or not. The next one is a sodium hydroxide NaOH. Okay, so one thing and is a KOH is a potassium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide is also there. For example, MgOH taken twice. Okay, so these are the calcium hydroxide CaOH taken twice. These are the different different type of chemical substances I am going to take in a uh, particular test tubes. Okay, so in our in these test tubes, uh, you can dip a litmus paper to identify whether it is a acid or base. If I am going to take a hydrochloric acid, then if you dip a litmus paper, it turns to red color. Means blue litmus paper turns to red color, and as well as the H2SO4 is also. If you bring one other litmus paper and just dip in it, so then it is said to be it is a now. So red uh, turns to red color and see these kind of the different different type of acids are right to turns to the red color of the litmus paper it turns to red color. Then same red color litmus paper I am going to dip inside of a sodium hydroxide then what it will change it will turns to the red litmus paper to blue litmus paper. So same acids in a potassium so hydroxide or something these are all are different type of chemicals if you dip the red litmus paper turns to blue color then what we conclude from this activity means yes these are the hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid and acetic acid and see citric acid whatever may be the acids all are 
blue litmus paper turns to red litmus paper these are the acids and where the bases are they miss the red color so litmus paper turns to blue color these are the bases so we can identify easily with this activity right okay so now We'll go for the another activity. In this activity, I'm going to bring a so finely chopped onions. So chopped onions, I'm going to keep in a plastic bag, and along with this chopped onions, I'm going to use a white clean strips of cloths. So two strips of a cloths, I'm going to just keep inside of the uh, any plastic bag along with the onions. Then you just tightly just uh, pack the total. Cover or plastic bag and keep it in uh, fridge is over totally one night or overnight the total uh, plastic bag you can keep inside of a fridge. Then next day you can uh, take out the plastic bag from the fridge and so take out the two strips of a, a cloth and just keep on a table and just bring a any diluted hydrochloric acid. And as well as NaO, which is means sodium hydroxide, is a one is a HCl hydrochloric acid, and bring another one is a NaO, which is a one is a acid, one is a base. This is acid and this is a base. On for example, this is a strip is a two strips are there. Now one strip you can just use a hydrochloric acid drops, and so another strip is also has which is right to just. Uh, pour some drops of NaOH on a other strip. Then what we we design the we design the particular two cloths and you can observe the odor of the particular cloth. So we can easy to say that uh, which cloth is a different type of smell. Onions are going to just affect on his uh, cloth. Then definitely we can get the different different type of observations are there. And then another one is also there. What does it mean? There is a clove oil and as well as there is a vanilla essence. The two different type of liquids I'm going to bring. Um, you bring a so in a two test tubes. Bring two test tubes inside of a two test tubes. I'm going to use a one is a diluted hydrochloric acid and another test tube contain that in a way sodium hydroxide. So two different type of solutions are there. In that. So you can add some drops of a vanilla essence and other tubes also you can add the so vanilla essence. You can observe the smell and what color what kind of colors has to change. Or otherwise you can wish you can change you can add the clove oil also. So these are the clove oils and as well as the vanilla essence are called as the olfactory indicators. So reaction of the Uh, metals with a particular acids and bases. The metals are right to react with the acids and bases are uh, there. For example, for the acids, bases, and salts are there in acids and bases. In our daily life, we can see the different different type of um, activities are there. For example, some people they are right to use that. The pickles are right to store in a different different type of jars. They are not to store any brass or any particular so. Uh, steel items because of the reason the pickles are right to damage by using of a brass kind of the materials. So um, what does it mean? There is a pickles are having the one kind of the acidic or base nature means in most probably acidic nature. So acidic nature is right to just con uh, contact with a particular any uh, material means metal. It should be definitely be right to damage. For this we will do one activity. In this activity, we need some materials. What does that mean? So one is a candle and test tube, and as well as so burning matchstick, and next one is a okay diluted hydrochloric acid, okay, and next is a zinc granule. So these are the materials we require to do this activity. So in this, um, for example, I will show that in a test tube. Roughly, I am going to draw the diagram. So in a test tube, I am going to use a diluted hydrochloric acid. Okay, inside of the test tube, I am using the diluted hydrochloric acid. Then this is a test tube. In this test tube, I am going to release or try to just pour some zinc granules. 
for example zinc granules i am going to pour inside of the diluted hydrochloric acid then what will happen and this total arrangement i am going to arrange with a particular this is a strand i am going to arrange then here this totally we just we use a cork so this totally uh, arrangement i am going to pass i am going to arrange one tube just this tube is going to released in a particular soap water once you observe that it is inside of the soap water you can go and release the tube then once you see when the hydrochloric acid is mixing with a zinc granules some kind of the gas is evaporating from the test tube the total gas is passing through the tube and comes to the out of the tube at the place of the soap water so the soap water is right to shows that is a bubbles are right to present means the bubbles are coming out the bubbles are right to present okay once you observe that whether it is the kind of bubbles are having some gases what kind of gas it is we can easily to identify by using of a so burning candle if i am going to bring a burning candle near to the particular bubbles then it will give a pop sound and it will stop the fire then we conclude that that is a hydrogen gas is releasing from it chemical reactions are going to write on it so here the chemical reaction is when i am going to bring a hydrochloric acid hcl is mixing with a zinc granules zn then it should be called changed as a now there is a uh, zinc i am going to add with a hydrochloric acid then it will comes to the zncl2 zinc chloride okay and another one is a hydrogen gas h2 now it is on as unbalanced equation that's why if i am going to keep a 2 hcl plus zn is gives to be so zncl2 plus h2 is a hydrogen gas is releasing from the particular chemical means in this what is the hcl is a acid okay there is a acid is mixing with a what is that it is a zinc is a one kind of the metal that's why it is a metal so then it will come to the zncl2 it is a salt okay salt and hydrogen gas is releasing from it okay so here we can see that the acids are right to react with their metals it will give us salts and hydrogen so in this activity we can identify so this kind of this metals are right to react with the acid and one more thing if i am going to add instead of that hydrochloric acid in a test tube instead of hydrochloric acid if i am going to use a naoh sodium hydroxide it is a base now so i am going to write the chemical equation again naoh is mixing with a zinc granules then next one what it will be so Na2Zn. Na2ZnO2. Okay. So sodium zincate and as well as the hydrogen gases as it is, it will try to release from it. So what does that means? There is a acid or base. Now it is a base. So base is mixing with a uh, sorry zinc means there is a metal. then it give to the particular what is the sodium zincate and it is also one of the salt kind of things and hydrogen gas is releasing from it means that hydrogen is a common thing whether you can use that acid or base to react with the metals from this activity we can conclude that yes acids and bases are react with the metal acids and um, bases are react with the acids are react with the carbon oxides and so what is it means carbon hydroxides carbon oxides or carbon hydroxides react with the acids what kind of changes will appear for example now if for this activity you can bring a two test tubes one is a a and another one is a b you label it on a a and b in a particular uh, a test tube you can bring a na2co3 what is that is a sodium Okay, so carbonate. So and another uh, test tube we can bring a 
सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट इन ए टू एच सी ओ थ्री ओके सो इन इट इज एज है सोडियम कार्बोनेट एंड बी इज है सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट सो नेक्स्ट वन एंड इन टेस्ट ट्यूब्स यू कैन फाइव एड सम फाइव एम एल ऑफ ए डायल्यूटेड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सो वॉट विल चेंज दर ए टेस्ट ट्यूब एंड बी टेस्ट ट्यूब इन टू टेस्ट ट्यूब्स यू कैन एड द डायल्यूटेड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इन इट एंड जस्ट दिस टोटल अरेन्जमेंट यू कैन विथ डेलीवरी ट्यूब यू कैन जस्ट पास टू दि लाइम वॉटर सो लाइम वॉटर मीन्स इट इज ए कैल्शियम CaOH taken twice. Okay, pass to the lime water. What kind of changes it will appear? So I will write a chemical equation. What will happen? And here, that is what does that means? Na two CO three calcium carbonate is mixing with a what I said that is an acid. We are mixing with a acid means that is a HCl. Then it will convert into the it will change as a what does that changes? You can observe that the salt will release that NaCl salt and water and as well as carbon dioxide. These kind of the products will get it from it. So it is an unbalanced equation. Means we can balance by using of a keeping of a two. The next one is a what is the next one? Is a sodium hydrogen carbonate Na2HCO3 is mixing with HCl. Then it will convert into the again NaCl, then water and carbon dioxide will get it. Okay, so in this, what after completion or after getting that salts and this with the delivery tube, I am going to pass to the particular so lime water. So the lime water is right. Just what we release that we we got the carbon dioxide that kind of gas it will release. So. CaOH taken twice, okay, is mixing with a carbon dioxide. So what will happen? That is a calcium carbonate CaCO3. This the perspiration has to present. So calcium carbonate and the remaining is a water. It will release it. Okay. So in this water, I am going to release. Then next one is a. So this kind of calcium carbonate again I am going to mix with a Ca. Okay, CO3 calcium carbonate is mixing with a carbon dioxide and water. Then it will convert into the it will change as a Ca. Okay, HCO3 taken twice. So this is called as a this is a Another perspiration has to present the calcium hydrogen carbonate. So is right to release from the particular chemical equation. Okay, so in this total equation, we'll identify what kind of meaning is right to say that sodium carbonate. Okay, so sodium carbonate is mixing with the acid. Then it gives to the Salt and water and carbon dioxide. Okay, so carbon dioxide. So this kind of the chemical changes has to present. We can know that there is a sodium carbonate. Carbonates are right to react with the acids and it will give a salt. So now we we'll discuss the neutralization reaction. So previously we discussed about the acids and bases. So the different type of acids and bases we discuss. Now neutralization reaction is nothing but so take a particular two uh, mL of NaOH in a test tube. So NaOH sodium so hydroxide. I am going to bring a test tube. So five mL or any two mL of NaOH I am going to bring in a test tube and then add some phenolphthalein. So in a particular Uh, test tube. You can observe that the color has to change. So the changing of a color has to appear. So while we are going to draw, uh, add the phenolphthalein uh, indicator, then it will change the color. So then after completion of this one, you can go and just add the diluted hydrochloric acid to the particular NaOH. So what you observe that 
that again drop by drop you just diluted hydrochloric acid if i am going to add to the particular NaOH it will change the color it means it will comes to the same color the pink color has to appear then pink color appearing is nothing but there is a uh, neutralization reaction NaOH is a one of the base and as well as HCl is a acid then the indicator has to change the color of the particular NaOH it will change the color but again I am going to so add the HCl diluted hydrochloric acid if I am going to add one by one drop by drop then automatically again it will come to the same color means it is nothing but the uh, pink color will ready to appear then the chemical equation I am going to write on it so see here NaOH is there NaOH is mixing with a hydrochloric acid, diluted hydrochloric acid HCl. So in that HCl, what it will ready to make it as means it is a NaCl is a salt will ready to make it and the remaining comes to the water H2O. Okay, see once you observe that the one is a base and another one is a acid. So that's why the base is mixing with acid then it gives a salt and water so these are the so products and so indicators are sorry there is a base and acids are two are so they we are going to use the chemical reaction then it will be the product is a salt this is called as a salt is nothing but it is a neutralization okay so now uh, one thing is the reaction of a metal oxides will react with the acids okay so what kind of things are right to appear if a metal oxides are right to react with a acids then if you just take a copper oxide CuO okay so copper oxide you just um, in a beaker you can just collect a copper oxide in that copper oxide if I am going to add some diluted hydrochloric acid instead of the copper oxide if i am going to just observe that that is a diluted hydrochloric acid then once you observe that if you are going to use this kind of the two different type of one is the acid and this is a what is that this is a so uh, metal oxide then these are the two different type of things are there when i am going to add these two then it will the metal oxides are right to dissolve in a hydrochloric acid means it is in a HCl then it will change into the uh, bluish green color so in uh, color has to appear means it is a dissolving it will give you some kind of the changes it will appear as a bluish green color then in that so what is that the bluish green color is nothing but it is a forming of a copper chloride okay and is nothing but it is a one of the salt and water has to give so i am going to write this one see it will convert into a copper chloride cucl2 okay and next one is a h2o so these are the uh, products we are going to get from the particular so metal oxides are react with a acids then it will give a salt and as well as so h2o copper chloride right and here once you observe that this is a metal oxide it is as mixing with the acid then it will be the salt okay and water see that this is a equation once you see this kind of thing we are going to appear that we see that this is a uh, metal oxides are behave like a basis so that's why it will we conclude from this activity only we can identify the the basic nature the metal oxides are right to contain it that's why metal hydroxides are also ready to contain that base okay so here so whether we are going to just test that which is a good conductor of electricity acids or bases what kind of uh, liquid is right to observe that it is a good conductor of electricity now we will test with a one activity so in that so for this test we can use a one beaker bring a one beaker in that beaker you can just take a diluted hydrochloric acid is a one kind of the acid initially you can 
use that diluted hydrochloric acid then instead of 8 you can use it 2 graphite rods so graphite rods are ready to just uh, appear one is a cation and another one is behaving like a anion means one is a positive another one is a negative then next one so you can bring a two different type of colors of cables so one is so gives a positive and another one is connected to another uh, graphite rod to the negative okay in this arrangement you can just observe that the bulb is ready to arrange in this circuit then it will connect it to a AC power supply is a 230 volts of electrical supply okay so we can use that 230 volts of electrical supply when you switch on AC power supply then automatically once you observe that so graphite rods two rods are beginning like a two nodes is nothing but one is a positive and another one is a negative then at the situation once you observe that whether the bulb has to glow or not the circuit because of the reason the graphite rods are separately arranged in a particular diluted hydrochloric acid so then the bulb has to glow or not so in this situation the bulb is glowing so because of the reason that diluted hydrochloric acid is a good conductor of electricity because of the reason in a HCl what it will be there that HCl means H plus ions or H3O plus ions hydronium ions are the hydrogen ions are right to present the hydrogen ions are right to behave like a cations and going to transfer the so electrical charges that's why the HCl instead of HCl if I'm going to take as a another one is a glucose for example if I'm going to take a glucose what are the glucose or so alcohol water may be if you take anything other than this hydrochloric acid these are the glucose and what is that is a alcohol is not a uh, acids that's why that is not to glow the bulb so bulb is not glowing at the situation we conclude from this activity yes acids are ready to give a particular conductor of electricity it behave like the conductor of electricity right you can use a uh, 1 gram of NaCl sodium chloride for example I am going to use a so this test this um, activity is right to indicate that whether the bases are right to give a particular so bases can produce in aqueous solutions acids can produce the ions H plus ion so now the acids can produce the uh, ions in a aqueous solution or not we can test it so for this test I am going to take using 1 gram of so 1 gram of NaCl if I am going to take a so NaCl sodium chloride 1 gram of sodium chloride I am going to take in a test tube so in this test tube I am going to add some 1 gram of NaCl and as well as so we can add slowly hydrochloric acid sorry okay sulfuric acid H2SO4 I am going to add acid anything you can so add so H2SO4 sulfuric acid I am going to add in a particular 1 gram of NaCl NaCl is right to present inside of the test tube okay so then once you observe that so one kind of the gas is right to evaluate from particular so uh, what does it mean test tube so you can identify if the equation is right to present what kind of equation it will be you write that NaCl sodium chloride is mixing with a sulfuric acid H2SO4 right so NaCl is mixing with a sulfuric acid it give a so what is that um, HCl is right to produce from the particular test tube and as well as what is that Na2SO4 so what is the HCl means it is a dry HCl so it is right to evaporate it is just right to comes out of the test tube so then what we conclude from whether it is a dry HCl is a acid or base or neutral what it will be so we can identify whether it is a produce an acid nature or not acid nature means it is not to produce any acid nature then we can test it so you can bring any litmus paper and keep on a test tube on the above of a test tube whether the gas is releasing from a particular place you can keep it then what we conclude from that the litmus paper is not to turns to other color means the blue litmus paper turns to red color is said to be as a acidic in nature but the dry HCl is a 
it look like a acid but it is dry hcl is not behave like a acid at the time the litmus paper is not to turns to the red color then what we conclude from this activity is that is in aqueous solutions only behave like a acid means that is a, it is right to produce a ions otherwise it is not to produce a ions so uh, you can think that you can use this kind of activity with a clean and outside only you should not use in a laboratory purpose which you can take more precautions because of the reason the high uh, dial sorry dry hcl is having harmful to the particular a so this dry uh, hcl so what is a dry hcl i am going to use this dry hcl is mixing with a weather for example in our environment the water droplets are containing in it so hcl is mixing it with a water again so then it behave like a hydronium ions h3o plus ions and so chlorine minus ions so here the h h3o plus ions and it will divide into the hydronium ions so not only this one you can observe that anything in presence of water it behave like a cation and anion it will divide as a cation and anion for example once you observe that not only acids for example bases also ready to present nacl is there nacl in presence of water so what is that h2o means in presence of water it behave like a na plus so plus cl minus so h2so4 is also same as is anything if you take any compound in presence of a water it behave like a it is right to divide into a cation and anion just that in a test tube you can just take a 10 ml of water is so now this test or this activity is right to identify whether is a dilution process the dilution is right to takes place in a particular hydronium ions means there is a hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid whatever may be acid or base so we can dilute it what is the process of dilution is nothing but so for this activity you will right to indicate that kind of dilution only now see that in a test tube i am going to bring a so 10 ml of water for example 10 ml of water so instead of a 10 ml of water i am slowly i am going to add some hydrochloric acid means hcl or h2so4 sulfuric acid water maybe as it's i am going to add so slowly if i am going to add in a particular water then what will observe that you can observe the you can touch the walls of the test tube when you are going to add the drop by drop so then you can observe that you will get either hotness or coolness of a particular test tube so definitely it will give a heat means is nothing but it is a water is mixing with a hydrochloric acid then it will give a exothermic reaction exothermic reaction is nothing but whether the heat it will be evaluated particular place and then endothermic um, reactions are nothing but then heat will be ready to utilize means it is not to give a heat energy to the particular outside so it is a exothermic reaction means the walls of a test tube will give a heat energy then you just carefully you should not add directly the hydrochloric acid or water maybe the bases also if you add instead of hcl i am going to add in a nao sodium hydroxide so it is a one of the base when you add this kind of the bases also it will give a exothermic reaction the temperature of the particular test tube has to increase so that is the main reason yes exothermic reaction then after completion of this one for example hcl is mixing with a h2o water molecule then it will give as a so hydronium ions h3o plus ions okay and next one so cl minus ions what is it it is a just category wise it will ready to divide it acids are bases what is the strength of the particular acids and bases how can we identify whether one acid is a strong acid or weak acids how to identify how to know this kind of values means by using of a one area for example i am going to say that see hydrochloric acid is there this is a one of the strong acid we know that compared to the so hydrochloric acid come uh, comes to the so nitric acid is a hno3 and ch3 cwoh so these are the 
So different different type of acids. All are acids, but one is compared to the so acetic acid or water may be okay. Nitric acid, the hydrochloric acid is more stronger. So how to identify what is the strongness of this kind of these things means? You can do that previous activity. What I said that by using of a beaker, use that the diluted hydrochloric acid and as well as instead of uh, first initially you can use the diluted hydrochloric acid. So dip the two rods inside of the particular diluted hydrochloric acid and switch on the particular AC power supply. Then you feel that the bulb is glowing brightly, more brightly. So the bulb has to glow instead of the uh, hydrochloric acid. I am going to use the so acetic acid or nitric acid, whatever may be acids. So it will give a less energetic or the bulb is glowing in a less energetic. So then we conclude that which is a strong acid means which is a good conductor of electricity because of the reason more H plus ions are going to present in it in a hydrochloric acid. So compared to the other acids the more H plus ions are going to present in it. So for this how to identify and if any scale is there means yes we have one scale is that is a pH scale. So the pH scale is nothing but so P means P stands for the potential. So it is a scientist he given the potential okay now we can identify this uh, ISS and basis by using a scale. So that scale name is a pH. So pH scale is indicating as a different type of acids and bases they within numeral values. So what is a what is the full form of the pH means P means potent he, he is a so German scientist given the idea of a H plus ions are ready to present or OH minus ions are also present then so he given as a one scale it looks like this is so 0 to 14 members are there on a scale. So each and every numeral, numeral has their own color. So depending on the color by using of a litmus paper what kind of color it will ready to produce by using of that color only we can identification we can identify for example see that we have the base uh, middle one is a 7 the 7 is a neutral it is not a acid it is not a base then the below of a uh, 7 number is all called as a acids and the above of a 7 the up to 14 members so what numerals it will contain that is called as a basis so below of a 7 is the acids and here also we have the two categories are said also there that is a weak acids and next one is a strong acids how to identify the weak acids and strong acids so 0 1 2 3 up to 3 so what kind of numerals is right to present that kind of liquids are saying as a strong acids means H plus ions are right to present more okay so compared to the uh, three number the remaining four five six so these kind of numerals it will contain by using of a litmus paper then that kind of acids are called as a weak acids compared to the strong acids the weak acids are containing less H plus ions or H3 O plus I hydronium ions okay so H3 O plus so hydronium ions the strong acids are contain more then comes to the so bases the weak basis is nothing but the OH minus ions are ready to present in less quantity okay then strong basis is nothing but more OH uh, minus ions are ready to present in it compared to the so weak basis is some, somewhat more that's why we call as a so see here there is a 8 9 10 up to 10 is a weak basis and above of a 10 is said to be this called as a strong basis that is the main reason what is the use of the basis actually in our daily life we have any reason is there means yes so we have to identify the acids and bases in our daily life also further we will do for the we will go for the different type of example pH scale in our daily life what kind of importance it will be there so by using of a pH scale so pH of uh, scale will indicate that First important thing is a all plants and animals are using as a pH scent. I'm going to say that if a rain, so sometimes rain has to fall. So at that situation, if the rain pH value is below 5.6, then it is said to be it is a acid rain. The acid, uh, acid rains are containing more H plus ions in it. 
So if that kind of rain water has to flow particular rivers and then instead of the rivers all the animals and so what is it what aquatic animals also ready to present. So then it is difficult to survive the particular life. Then next one is a in our tooth decay. So our body containing the tooth value is a so our body contain the hardest uh, element is a so enamel okay on, on teeth we have one enamel it is made with a calcium phosphate it is not to so dissolve in a water but continuously if we use the uh, particular any in our body can produce the bacteria for example if you eat any food or anything our body can produce the like a sugar or anything if you are going to eat so inside of our mouth can produce some bacteria this bacteria is right to give us a more acidic then this kind of acids are right to present in a particular tooth so teeth then automatically it will ready to corrode with a particular so hardest substance in our body so that's why what is the uh, remedy for that how to just um, uh, this is a prison prevention is better than the cure is nothing but prevention is nothing but you can do the uh, you can use a different type of uh, mouthwash is nothing but every time morning and evening you can brush then we can clean our teeth easily then uh, then only the bacteria is not to form and not to make it as a more acidic so that's why we can easy to protect our enamel by using of a washing of your teeth or washing of your mouth every time so that is a one and another one is in our digestive system is also there that is very very important in our daily life we see that if you eat a food then definitely it is right to digest in our body it can produce some kind of acids so for example in a particular daily time you see uh, one day if i am not going to eat some properly then automatically some gases are ready to form in your body in our stomach you can feel that in a some kind of gas then how to uh, prevent this kind of the gases how to just dissolve this problem how to just re uh, resolve this kind of problems means we can go for the particular uh, medical shop and we are going to bring a digestion tablets is nothing but the same okay antacids so antacids are right to present means what is that if you are going to take as an antacid then it will neutralize the particular that is a basic in nature when acids are right to produce the gases are right to form making as a acids then it will comes to the previous activity we already discussed what is that so acids are mixed with a basis then it will give a neutralization sodium chloride so then here also antacids if i am going to bring a antacid it became as a it will give a neutralization that's why we can protect from the particular gaseous problems by using of a uh, this kind of the uh, daily life situations right the next one will go for the ph of the soil now it is all important thing is the soil is uh, whether it is uh, suitable for the cropping or not so how to identify means you can bring you can collect the soil in a particular your area then you can test it whether it is a more acidic or not if more acidic is nothing but what is that nowadays we are using a different type of chemicals in a particular daily life so then our earth our soil is also that's why once you observe that the earthworms are not to present nowadays because of the reason if we are using the more chemicals in the earth is behave like a more in acidic then automatically the earthworms are ready to die that is not to survive in our earth that is the main reason so how to test it whether the plants are ready to grow or not what kind of plants are growing how to identify means by using of your testing method only by ph scale is also very important to test it so if you test it then you can easy to identify which crab is suitable for that particular land so that is the way and self defense of a particular okay animals their warfare so what is a self defense means for example if one person is coming on me they want to fight with us so they definitely we can so uh, self we have some defense are there means we can uh, stop the particular warfare so here the animals and the uh, what does it means um, insects water maybe so the best simple example is a honey bee 
the honey bee is having the one kind of the acidic the stung has a acidic if it is bite it bite the particular for example on skin the honey bee is ready to stung so then automatically what will happen that kind of the sting is ready to attach to the our body then that is the acidic in nature then it will give a irritation okay so this kind of irritation means you can use that so how to protect from this duck leaves are there so duck leaves you can use the duck leaves then automatically you can protect means it is neutralization reaction and not only this one ants also can give a acids in our for example ant bite so definitely we can feel that some kind of irritation and itching are there so what kind of itches and irritation will be there means then that ant is right to produce some kind of acids to our body then our body is not receiving that kind of acids then it will give us some itching problem is a uh, what is it means irritation has to present that is a main important these are the acids and ph scale is very important in our salts are very important the salt is nothing but it is a neutralization of reaction right the salts are very important and we have the different type of salts also there so for example nacl is a one of the salt is a what we are using the table salt we can call as a table salt also so means we are using in our daily life in a sodium chloride then uh, there is a one kind of the acid now i am going to say that the family of salts also ready to present so what does it means nacl is a chloride family and as well as the kcl is also there okay so this is also these two are salts family of a chloride okay so chlorine family salts are ready to present see the ph of a salts also very important what is the meaning of the ph of this salts so we have that for example what we discussed in a previous uh, discussion what we have for example the seven is a neutralization the seven value will indicate as a good salt means good uh, what is it means neutralized thing for example if it is a near to the particular value means is a six number is a numerical value is a six then what we feel that it is also one of the salt but it is a acidic in nature acid salts then now what about the eight number will be there eight number is also one of the salt but it is not a 100% is a chemical salt it is not a 100% salt that is a basic salts also there the acidic salt and basic salts also there so that's why what we are using in our daily life also which is a neutralized value 100% seven number has to present then it is said to be it is a neutralized perfect neutralized it is not acid it is not a base it is a salt so this kind of salts only we can use in our daily life and the remaining values also that kind of the salts but it is not 100% salts that is a acidic salts also there and basic salts also ready to present we will discuss in general life so you know that why the important of the salt you know that uh, so gandhi ji started a dandi march so in a salt satyagraha also so what is the relation between the salts and that satyagraha why the freedom fighter the regime uh, before going to independence so why the gandhi ji started the salt satyagraha i mean this satyagraha this salt satyagraha is right to be very important to the particular uh, freedom fight so reason they all people the british people they are ready to collect the Uh, taxes from our india on a particular salt the salt is very important in our daily life without salt we cannot get or we cannot eat any food because of the reason it is not a tasty you know that if you so cook anything so in your home for example if you cook any curry so without salt and that too the salt is less and salt is more it is also difficult so it is a tasteless so that's why we are right to use our our all people our human beings are right to depend our tasty food means with a salt without salt is not a tasty so that's why what is it means that is a one acids and bases in a same quantity it will right to maintain our body our blood pressure and bp is nothing but depending on the salts only if a good salts i am going to eat i am going to take in our body then our body maintained proper way okay
so that is a very important we will go for the so this kind of the salts also there and now we will go for the that is the importance of dandy match okay so bleaching powder um, preparation so bleaching powder preparation is nothing but it is also one of the chemical we are using so for example lime water is there the lime water is mixing with a chlorine then calcium hypochlorite has to present and the water is also ready to produce from the particular so these kind of the reactions then what is the calcium hypochlorite is said to be called as a bleaching powder so we we are using this kind of the bleaching powder means we are using in a cotton industry in a textile industry also we can use it and we can just using for the so detergent or we can use the bleaching powder to kill the germs also now it is what we are going to use or if you are going to clean one area we are using is a bleaching powder also so that kind of things are we are using calcium hypochlorite then next one is a baking soda now what we are using the baking soda means in our food also when the food materials are looks like a puffy and is very so smooth and puffy nature means by using of a baking soda only by see here nacl is mixing with the water and carbon dioxide and ammonia so in h3 then it will give you as a ammonium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate is ready to present this sodium hydrogen carbonate is said to be it is called as a so baking soda so the baking soda is very important and now if you baking soda if you heat the baking soda in presence of heat and sodium carbonate it will try to release and water and carbon dioxide will try to release just now what i said that see it is using as a so uh, food materials are coffee and everything and it should be is a mild antiseptic also it is non corrosive and next one and it is also using as in a word in life activities then after completion of this one now one more example one more uh, thing is there that is a soda is right to very important in our daily life also for example the hardness of a blood strain or ink strain if i am going to remove so is it possible to remove by using of a detergent means it is somewhat difficult so in our uh, dry cleaning people are going to use a this kind of washing soda the washing soda is a one of the chemical to clean the uh, means we are going to remove the hardness of a particular water also and as well as once you see the chemical reaction if i am going sodium carbonate is mixing with 10 moles of water then it will give as a na2co3 10 moles of water means this is a uh, compound of a particular na2co3 and 10 h2o so washing soda this is using as a uh, glass industry paper industry whatever may be where we are going to use a different type of so cleaning agent you can use it plaster of paris plaster of paris is nothing but nowadays we are using the ganesh idols and all kind of idols are ready to use to preparation of a idols only using with a plaster of paris nowadays what we are going to use, going to use that pop each and every office or each and every home also nowadays they are using as a pop pop is nothing but the full form of pop means plaster of paris so that is a one of the chemical easy to so receive the fire so that's why this kind of pop is using that in our daily life so that kind of houses or pop area is very cool but if any fire accidents will appear it is ready to catch the fire you can compare to the other areas the pop area has to get more fire so because of the reason the pop the chemical reactions are there so calcium sulfate caso4 calcium sulfate is so in a half mole of water okay so it is a uh, pop plaster of paris is mixing with a one and a half mole of water then it will give like a two moles of calcium so sulfate caso4 calcium sulfate two moles of water it will behave like a so gypsum so now what we are using that for example if you break if you uh, get any problem is a bone breaking so then if you go to the hospital doctor has to give a cement bandage so what is the cement and bandage is nothing but that is made with a white color so pop gypsum only 
when I am going to add the two moles of water, it behaves like a gypsum. The calcium, so sulfate is half mole of water, is mixing with a one and a half mole of water, then it behaves like a calcium sulfate is a two moles of water, then it is behave like a gypsum. So it is the strongest material, it is not to dissolve in your water also. So that's why this kind of idols are right to just damage our environment. Where we are using the Ganesh idols, we are going to so release some water then what will happen it is not to digest it is not to dissolve in a water that's why inside of the water the fishes and the animals water may be all are ready to die so that is a against the environment so that's why this is also one of the chemical we are using daily